So this is the end of the third day of phase four still. So I'm still doing the phase four. This week felt uh, quite hard, but not like I was whingy on leg day. If we didn't do any of the video enough of it because I just never got around to it. And then just actually doing the program itself was hard enough this week. Yeah, you have to um, focus on actually doing the legs, not yeah. the video. For anyone that doesn't vlog their training, I definitely now think that people who do it on Instagram are just lying because it's difficult to remember to care about your camera and setting up your angles and stuff whenever your legs don't want you to work at all. Yeah. It feels like extra work carrying the camera and stuff. It is. But apart from that, uh, it felt good. All of the lifts and everything went up. The I had a cold at the start of the week and still added in and did my squats. That was awful on a cold. I sort of think I'm like Superman. Because the only Superman gets never be sick, but then when he gets like cut in the finger, like yeah. wrecks him, that's what I'm. That's yeah, what you're I'm sort like. of like Superman. That's what I'm saying. Sort of. So because I had a cold, it was kind of worse than a normal. Because Liam had a cold. Worse did, than did a normal. Worse. <laughs> cold. He became Superman. No, I was Superman first. That's what happened. All oh, right. Squats were just okay. a bonus. Yes. I mean, uh, <laughs> so I. So that, that's. You were doing different stuff as well. You're you're yeah. on still on the depleted eating and four. That's the funnest bit about my trade. You're doing four days of actual work, and I'm doing three, which means one of the days I do mobility. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. Yeah, this week again was carry on the fat loss. Um, my weight dropped. You don't look at you, boy. You're not picking you, boy. Dropped well again this week. Ninety kilos. I'm um, so I'm down three kilos. And that's because you added like two weeks. 20... Not even two weeks. 20 minutes of, of cardiovascular. It's yeah. all the cardio that you added in. So Purely you cardiovascular base. Yeah. So no cardio. Like and we talked yeah. about the last time. I'm not doing any cardio. Three kilos in, in 11 days. Uh, which is what in normal weight? Six, seven. About seven pounds. About mm. half a stone in two weeks. Not even two weeks. This week, I... You'll, you'll see from other videos where we recorded it. Um, where I was training along with Liam, I was really tired and had no energy. This week I had energy and felt actually felt yeah. quite good, except for the first. I do two leg days. Liam only does one. Yeah, I do two. Well, the first one with back squats was terrible. But it was good. really not. It was just really bad. Everything about it was really bad. But um, I had lots of energy this week. So my body's adjusting. That's an important thing to realize for diet and for fat loss. You know what? It feels bad, but it does actually change. You have to give yourself time to adapt. It's it. why people quit. People get to the point where they're like, "Well, this is I feel terrible." It, but it does. Nervous. It does. Yeah. It feels so. It, you, honestly, I know. Every you know. Everybody knows. You just feel so bad, and you do want to give up. It makes mm -hmm. it worse. But your body, and that's the whole thing we talk about. Your body will adapt. Yeah. So and it adapts to more food. It adapts to the weights, but it also adapts to that lower level. Remember that you're eating less calories if you are trying to train for fat loss. And it may affect the training. Keep the diet going, but just get your mind right for the uh, for the weights. And that it took me eleven days. Yeah, I just get on track again. Second leg day was the first day where I felt mentally like, you know what, I'm actually ready to do this. Whereas remember I even said my legs feel my legs feel recovered. They weren't. <laughs> but, but up here, up here, it felt recovered, and it meant that the workout actually went quite well because it's all about how you feel about it. Yeah. So, so again, it's just about getting through the the first initial bit of it being horrible. And if you understand it's going to be horrible, because like, we've talked about this a lot, we talk in the other videos about how everything's magic. And we're saying like, a lot of the time we're like, this is horrible. And you're like, of course, you're not eating enough. Of course, yeah. it should be horrible. And you're trying to lift big weights. You're trying to lift yeah. heavy weights for you. Yeah, so again, we, we talked about that last week, is that whenever I was um, doing my cut, like I could do one set, uh, at the weight, and then whenever I was back uh, eating again, I was able to do five sets of the exact same weight. Same, same weight yeah. Whereas the first time, I'd, like I complained the whole way through that workout, then saying I shouldn't have done the first fat, like heavy set because now my arms are wrecked for everything else. So, um, so that brings us to uh, another point. We thought because a lot of people have been asking uh, what we're actually doing and keeping an eye on the videos, and some people have tried to do what we're doing, but obviously you can't whenever the way we video it. Uh, so we've actually designed the program, so we've wrote them up and you can actually get them. There'll be a link below this if you want to buy them. Uh, you can buy The first two phases are up. So that's if you want to start. So phase one for me was basically just, I didn't really do a lot of weight training, 
but I, I did a lot of body weight training and a lot of different types of stuff. But it was to just get me out of homeostasis was the way we sort of put it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So the, the big thing about uh, properly programmed any type of training, but in particular weight training, resistance training like this, is that you're trying to cause what's called uh, an adaptation or supercompensation. And that, that is to bring you out of what Liam just said, which is a complicated scientific term called homeostasis. All it means is, you know, everybody will generally heard of the status quo, like the band. Yeah. Status quo is just the norm. So you're, yeah. like, we've talked about this in other videos, watch the other videos, but very quickly, your body adapts to what you put it under. If you lie on the sofa for 20 years eating uh, terrible food every night watching EastEnders, that's what your body adapts to. Yeah, and you, you get very like good it. at it. Yeah. You, you get look good like it, it and you look like it. Yeah. Because your body becomes efficient, exactly the same as uh, coming in here three to four times a week and being just careful about your diet. Then you look like you that look, too. You look, you look like you're actually training and doing it. So that's compensation, that's getting out of homeostasis. The first program that Liam, and Liam is doing these programs, they're not just made up programs. Yeah. Liam has done them now for the last nine months. Mm. And the you, first one... You know, look at me. The first one is a great one for beginners or even uh, athletes in different sports who want to, who've never done resistance training, same as Liam, never done real resistance training and want to start. It's a great, position, great uh, program to start at because it doesn't take too much energy and it gets you used to the whole idea of being in a gym. So if you're unfamiliar with gyms and things, I would suggest that one. Yeah, I will, we've done it, like I've been doing it and I had been training what I would consider pretty hard. We talked about this before, I was over training a lot for about, 19 going on 20 years and then we i started my brother on it who wasn't really doing any sort of training like this at all so everyone's able to adapt to it so it's not like you need any background if you know how to do the exercise then you're you're going to get benefits from it yep. so that's that's the phase one program and the phase two program is also out so that you can get it as well so i really enjoyed it that was the, yep. the next step i didn't enjoy it because it was a change it just was uh, because I, I was actually tracking numbers and seeing things move. So do you want to give a wee example of what? Yeah. So the first one is just to get you familiar, get you started. The second one then is where you, we moved more into actual strength program. Yeah. Uh, so as Liam says, you're actually then going to go on to a progression. So you're going to come into the gym and you're going to start to work certain big exercises like the squat and the bench press and things. And you're actually going to start to increase the weights that you lift and track them over uh, the course of say six to eight weeks. And even sometimes I was increasing by like a kilo, and yeah. like I was enjoying doing that, and it, and it felt like I was advancing. Whereas I know a lot of people will try to jump on, will go like especially there was a point where I was at seven or thirty eight for my press, and I wanted like mentally I just wanted to go to forty because it just mm -hmm. was a nice round number, and that would be cool. But I stuck to what I was doing and then it helped me progress a lot more. And I know a lot of people tell you people get injured yes. uh, is they just try to jump high. And I talked about this in a couple of different videos. I had a lot of injuries throughout the years. And I've been, since doing this, I have I pulled my back once for about a day and that was getting up off a sofa. I wasn't even doing the training. Yeah. Um, and it cleared up very quick. I did a wee bit of real mobility, not the fake mobility yeah. we talked about. Yeah, and then aside from that, like my shoulder has been, I've torn my scapula, hundred uh, percent, vertebra, no, no difficulty with that either. So yeah, so uh, this this stuff will make you more resilient. You shouldn't be getting injured from it. Um, if you're getting injured from this, you're not doing it right. Yeah. So buy the program. Yeah. Don't uh, try and do it off your own back. I will put a link in the bottom so that you can get it. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to us. Please like and share, hit the wee button so that, or the wee bell so that you can stay up to date with what we're doing. And we'll see you on the next vlog. Thank you very much. Good luck.